One of the biggest challenges with satellite data is that it's massive. There are petabytes of data of this rich, rich information, but it's so large and quite often it's so complex that it's incredibly difficult to use. What we've done through the Digital Earth Australia program is take that data, correct it, calibrate it and organise it so that it's easy to use and easy to have more people immediately start to extract value from this data. We use it quite a lot already and the potential is enormous. We use it to monitor water holdings. So there is a what's called a Commonwealth Environmental Water Holder in the department. They purchase and release water to help balance out how water across the continents is for agriculture, for communities and for industry, but also for the environment. In the past, remote sensing was cost prohibitive to industry to access. Now data is open and free, making it fully accessible will identify new markets where consumers can actually use remote sensing in areas they haven't done in the past, use particular applications, whether it's through smart devices to identify changes on the ground, whether it's relating to land changes or water quality changes. It's really a great opportunity for industry to, to be able to leverage off this open source data set. What we're hoping to do with industry is actually make a range of tools available for customised use. So you can imagine a farmer having a tool to track his own irrigation scheduling or his own crop uh, development. Likewise, you can imagine an individual landholder tracking the progress of their development or even to target which property they buy next and what the risk of flood is for that. We see many, many applications, there's many opportunities for budding entrepreneurs to actually take this information and turn it into uh, services for the general public.